Hello you, today we're eating grasshoppers. <laughs> eating bugs, also known as entomophagy, is something that I do mostly to teach the kids how to hunt and different options for food. I'll be honest and admit that I'm not a big fan of eating bugs, which is why today we're going to cook them with sugar. Last time we brought a wool blanket so that we could catch grasshoppers in bulk, the theory being that their legs get stuck in the wool fibers. It didn't work. The best tip I can give you is to look for a big area with tall grass and then chase the grasshoppers with your hands down towards the ground so that they can't jump around easily and then you can snatch them up with both hands. The most humane way to eat grasshoppers is to catch them, put them in a bottle, and then put the bottle in the freezer so that they go into hibernation and you can easily fry them up while they're sleeping. My preferred method is to catch them and twist and pull their head off right away which removes their intestines and and all of the undigested grass that makes them taste very bitter. Huh, that's a weird looking grasshopper. <laughs> ah, my son found a cicada that was in the middle of molting, so we'll throw that into the batch too. Gonna start out by boiling the grasshoppers to make sure you kill all the parasites. Think you got enough sprinkles on the grasshoppers? Yes. <laughs> Here you go, I think. Here we go. We learned that the uh, wings and the lower part of their legs are really hard to chew. It's kind of like chewing on a popcorn kernel. I think it's chitin or chitin, however you say that. So we've been pulling off the wings and uh, redoing the rest without any of the excess parts. Here in the United States, we've been socially conditioned since birth to think that, ew, bugs are yucky. It's still kind of there when I'm chewing it. It's like, oh, this is a grasshopper that I'm eating. Kind of hard to get over. But if you think you or your children may ever have to battle food scarcity in your country, then I highly recommend that you play with it now. Add lots and lots of sugar because that makes it way more fun. And if you want to forage other bugs, plants, and mushrooms, then check out some of my other videos because there's a lot of wild things that you can put in your mouth.